A man named Eric is insecure, and he's a loner. One day on YouTube, Eric finds a video called Signs You Lack Intimacy. Out of desperate hope, Eric watches the video entirely to find a solution. He was tired of feeling so sad and insecure because of who he was. The YouTuber who created the video ends up attracting more people like Eric, and the video reaches 1 million views. This is a perfect example of something called ad hominem, the technique that most marketers use to manipulate their audience. If you're a YouTuber or creator, I think we've suffered from a really, really bad illness called no one gives a shit. And it's typically when you make a video and no one gives a shit. And it's painful because we spend so much time working on our craft. Today I'm gonna teach you guys one of the most famous and actually dangerous techniques to grow an audience. This is a logical fallacy called ad hominem. Explain. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shade. I'm a 18 year old entrepreneur that combines marketing and psychology to bring you this video. And I wanna quickly give a huge thank you to a lot of you guys who love the past few logical fallacies video. If you're new, I've been making a video series about how YouTubers manipulate their audience and using logical fallacies, and this is part three. Thank you so much for keeping this going. And if you want more, make sure you give this video a like. It lets me know that you enjoy and that you want more, so I'll make more. So I'm not gonna stall any further. You guys already know how it goes. In the first part of today's video, I'm gonna talk about the evolution of why ad hominem works. The second part, I'll talk about how your brain functions in order to get manipulated so you know how to apply it to your viewers. And the last part is the step-by-step -step plan you need to create videos using this ad hominem technique. So let's get started with part one. Back in the industrial age, we learned as humans to optimize and scale our assembly lines. So instead of making handcrafted materials, we're able to create factories. This is exactly how Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Cars, was able to create a massive empire with factories and manufacturing. It was during the industrial age that America grew its economy. And fast forward, we arrive now to the informational age. During the informational age, it was when the internet was born, and at your fingertips, you're able to Google anything you want. What was so important is people making search engine optimized content were thriving. This is when Google AdSense was kind of first turned on, and people were getting money from creating content. Now, fast forward even more. The content platforms like Instagram and Facebook were born, and we have arrived to the connection economy. The connection economy only works when there's trust and relationships built upon a platform. And what's so important is was people in the informational age or even industrial age don't know how to thrive in the economy like the connection economy because it only relies on real conversations and real engagement. So what I'm trying to say and the reason why I'm sharing this fact today is because the reason why your videos don't stand out or you feel like you are overwhelmed is because a lot of people are still living in the informational age. Not a lot of people on YouTube or Instagram are making content, which is truly in the connection economy, which is all about creating real conversations on the platform. So now that you know the importance of creating real connections, I think we need to talk about how your brain works to initiate them. See, your brain only wants to pick certain fights. There's not enough calories or energy for your own body to physically produce for it to do everything it wants. So that's why when you're scrolling through your timeline or you're scrolling through anything, you only click on certain videos that suits your interest. Now, the reason why ad hominem works so well is because it really stands out and it literally sends a signal to your brain to click this video. If you've ever kind of played around with YouTube studios, you kind of seen this feature and I really want to quickly share it. So this is basically a funnel of impressions through click-throughs. A lot of the problem I see is people see your content, but no one's engaging with it. You know, you're gonna get impressions, but not everyone's gonna convert. And the reason why is because your brain is trying to conserve energy. So if you're someone who produces something or creates something, don't feel bad because everyone's brain is trying to conserve energy. On the flip side, when your brain is trying to only hold on to the most important pieces of information, this is why ad hominem really cuts through the noise and stands out. So what does ad hominem even mean, Jade? So by definition, ad hominem means you attack your opponent's character or personality trait in attempts to win an argument. So a really good example are these three videos that I found. And I actually got this video idea from looking at these three titles because it just really caught my interest. Here's an example. 
Everything wrong with Apple. Why I hate Emma Chamberlain. Signs you lack intimacy. Our brain is created to look for threats and rewards. And I said this in the past video and I'll link it below if you guys wanna watch it. But basically the breakdown of our brain releases hormones when we see these threats or rewards. So if we're able to create videos that create threats, using ad hominem, which is basically attacking a person or personality trait, do you see why it's so important to take advantage of the technique if we want to take our message and make it great? It's not a new technique to start drama or create clickbaity titles, but I think so often we can take a really good idea and make it great with the right packaging. If you're looking at your channel right now, I want to ask yourself, is there a way to repurpose my current videos and to repackage it with the right thumbnails and titles in order to stand out? Again, remember your brain is lazy as fuck and people watching your videos will not have the bandwidth to click on every single video. So you need to be able to essentially cut through the noise and become a threat or reward for people to click. And with ad hominem, it's focused on a threat. So you're basically getting someone's interest by attacking someone. But if you want to know more about this, I'll link them below. So here's three steps you can use to utilize ad hominem on your current video. Step one. Look at your video and ask, who is this for? Create a group of people that you think will find the most value in this video. For example, if it's a what I eat in a day, maybe the best person that would be viewing this would be a high school teenager. The second thing you want to do is ask yourself, what do these group of people have the biggest insecurity upon? So if high school teenagers are insecure about having tons of acne, then keep that in mind. Now, the last step is you wanna take the video idea of who it's for and connect it to the insecurity. So if I was doing a what I eat in a day video, you can use ad hominem to basically boost it up and say what I eat in a day to clear up hormonal acne. Or another title idea I just came up with was why what you're eating is causing you acne. Do you see that you take a regular video called what I eat in a day and regurgitate it into a more powerful and very irresistible clickable video. And you can use these techniques for anything, but we need to be able to have more empathy for our audience's insecurity and provide a solution behind it, rather than just being a noise. Because if we don't really pick out in very specialized in problems, we are just becoming a greater part of a noise. And like I said, with the connection economy, when you're able to start conversations around problems and you know, insecurities, that's when true relationships happens because people are able to relate on that level. I think so often I've seen just a lot of people create surface level content. And as we progress in our economy, it's just gonna get harder and harder to create conversations. And with ad hominem, we're able to at least cut through the noise and start a compelling message with what we have so far. So in conclusion, the reason why you should utilize ad hominem or think about it in your videos is because the only work that matters is work that matters. As creators, we need to have more empathy of people's problems and insecurities. And I know it sounds like I'm attacking them and it could be used the wrong way. But again, marketing is just an extension of your character. If you're a good person, you're gonna be able to impact good people. And vice versa, if you're a bad person, you're just gonna manipulate people to do bad shit, then that's not a good thing. So I'm not an advocate for someone to do those things, but just remember you have a lot of power with your message. So what I'm trying to say is if you think a video idea is good, think again, because it needs to be good and solve a problem for that group of people. And you guys can use ad hominem and any of these techniques that I mentioned in the past to elevate your videos to reach the right group because the connection economy is going to get a lot more fierce and more people want to start noise. But if you want to make people listen, start with insecurities and solving problems in a group of people and that will cut through all the competition. All right, guys. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Now, I want to shout out to the comment winner that won the matcha box giveaway. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys don't know, last week I basically partnered up with Matcha Club, which is a matcha subscription box to help you guys get a matcha set of your own. We have a winner right here, so congratulations, and make sure you Instagram DM me so I can mail you your prize, and I would love to talk to you further. All right, guys, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and if you made it to this video, turn on post notifications, and 
let me know in the comments what you think about today's video let me know if the ad hominem is something that's hard or easy to implement i want to know any of your questions concerns i'm here for you also if you don't know i have a youtube series called the startup and we have a new episode next friday so i invite you to come it's a live stream so um you're able to kind of like get your popcorn and sit with me in real time while watching a new episode of my youtube series i've been working on so i'll link that below if you don't know what that is and you want to get right in all right guys thank you so much for watching i love you darmination you're the best i'll see you guys very soon love you so much